it too loud. Hi. Okay. <laughs> so. Wait, are you going to turn it? Yes, I am. Um, Allison wants me to do a video and show you guys on her hair what the different um, sizes of curling iron. So we have a one inch, a one and a quarter inch, a half inch, and a, or a one and a half inch and a two inch. No, or not a two inch, we're doing the flat iron. Yeah, so this is, let me show you. We're doing a half inch curling iron. We're doing a one inch curling iron. A one and a quarter inch curling iron and the flat iron. And what we're going to do is just show what the different curls look like so that you can see um, when you want to curl your hair what works best for you. And Allison has more hair than anyone else in the world. So this will be a good, like, you'll be able to really see the different sizes too. Because it's not thin or anything. Okay. Do you have a preference on? Mm -mm. Do however you want. Okay. Okay, let's start with Okay, so on this side, I'm going to do our flat iron. Um, and when I like to curl, I take usually pretty chunky sections of hair. She has a ton of hair, so I'm not taking like crazy huge sections. But, um, and why do I you take don't, sections? Because the tighter the section you take, the tight, more tight it's gonna be curled. So I'm doing sections that are gonna be the same amount of hair in each one, so that it doesn't curl differently. But I also, when I curl hair, I don't love it to be super, super tight ringlets. I prefer them to be a little bit like, I want them to fall out a little bit. And it's also better for your hair because you're not applying as much direct heat to as much hair. And I'm also going to use the same type of curl for all of these. So the other ones I will wrap. This one, I can't do it exactly the same because it's not a curling iron. But can your leaving ends out right? I go very, very briefly over the ends. Do you want me to leave them out for you? No, you. I'm just, I'm just pointing out what you're doing so everybody can see. I start at the top, and because this is where I want the most heat applied, because this is what's going to fall out faster. Your ends will hold curl better than anything else will. Well, and not only that, but your up here is the most healthy. Mm -hmm. So I'm less scared about. You know, heat damaging this hair than I know about the stuff at the bottom. So I spend the most time on the top. And tell everybody what you're doing there. Um, I like to pull the curls at the ends out. Allison's hair curls really well, so I like to just tug these out while they're still setting so that it doesn't get too bunchy at the bottom. You can just leave your ends out, and it doesn't make a huge difference, but see, Allison's ends still like to curl, and I don't like to leave. Um, I don't think we're kind of into the whole, like, one curl, and then it's, like, straight, but I'm not feeling it, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, and then when you're curling, you're holding it up. Explain the difference. I do that because I want the hair to set out from the head to give it volume, not that Allison needs it, but usually people, you want to add volume to your hair. So I like to start at like, like straight out from the head. So on the top of the head, I'm going to pull it up more as far as I can without hurting myself. Um, if I wanted it to be a flatter curl at the top or to not be as curly at the top, I would pull it down.
but my goal is just to get like a smooth even curl throughout the whole like see how evenly that curls there's not one part that's straight and there's not one part that's like more tightly curled I like them to be smooth I also am choosing not to um, pull hair off of the top of this before the rest of it is done. Oh, one second. Is that working? Mm -hmm. Technical difficulties? Yeah, hold on one second, guys. pieces specifically will curl better than anything else because that is what gets the most uh, heat exposure that's what you touch most so you're running your hands through it that's the first thing you scrub when you're shampooing is the front of your hair so it gets the most damage so um, if you're gonna do anything people will focus their heat on that part don't if you're gonna do anything take a bigger section in the front because a your hair is thinner and B you don't need it is more damaged so it's more susceptible to heat which means they'll curl easier. And you don't need to spend that much extra time on the very front. Okay, so this is our flat iron curls. Now we're doing, I think we're gonna do the one and a half inch. One and a half inch in the back, yeah. I'm curling all of these back, I'm not alternating, but it's because we want to get an accurate like, feel for the curl pattern. Uh -huh. Let's go. Get it. <laughs> Allison, when, when you curl your hair, what do you like to use? So it used to be that I loved the one and a quarter inch, which is what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. Um, but now? But now I like the one inch. Really? You like the mm -hmm. smaller ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like I can get it to stay longer. And um, then it has more time to fall out. Yeah, and you don't or, have to it. Or I go with the two inch and um, let, and let it, it be like straight really, kind of. really loose. Yeah. I think. When I curl, I have a wand, but 
I don't really use it. I always use my flat iron because my hair's short. It's so much easier to have the like something with short hair. I think in general, curling is harder with short hair. If you have short hair, I will always, always use the flat iron. Just because I'll sit there and burn myself all day long before I get a curl in your hair. You know what I mean? Because you have to wrap the hair around it. Sometimes it's just too short and doesn't want to go. But the flat iron will pinch it. Which is what I like better. Allison, I feel like we did your hair like last week and I feel like you already have roots, like regrowth. No, was seriously. So fast. When I was coloring it red, every three weeks I had to cut, I had to, or you could see like massive regrowth. My regrowth is like six, four, between like five or six weeks. Right now? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. And it's not that much, it's like maybe three quarters of an inch. Yeah, that's what mine looks like at three weeks. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Does your son's hair grow the same as yours? I don't know. I want to say he's about nine inches now, eight inches. He has so much hair. His fro but it's literally not, goes to here. It doesn't <laughs> like his hair doesn't fall down. It just goes out. <laughs> So he's got this massive orange. It's hat. so curly and bright orange. Mm -hmm. When he was little and we took family pictures, his hair would just glow if we were outside. Okay. So, so with these bigger, um, anything above an inch, um, I like to let them set in my hand. Um, specifically the ends because again I'm not going to spend as much time on them so I like to hold I'll show you this out here this is why I don't wear a ring catch it on your hair your wedding ring? So when I pull it out, I will drop it into my hand to let just the ends set in my hand. I'm curling like this. If it's bigger, you're saying? Yeah. The tighter ones you can do, but it doesn't make as much of a difference because it's a tighter curl anyways. And the top will fall out. As soon as I run my fingers through it, the top will fall out first and the ends will not fall out as fast. But if the ends don't set the way you want them to, then sometimes the ends fall out first. So I just wait till for a sec. Okay. Is that the last one? Are you still on? No, I got like one or two more. Oh my gosh. I'm throwing things all over the place. So if anyone has like questions or anything about them curling their hair, post it in the comments. We probably won't get to it during the live stream because I can't even read it, but I will respond later. These are all roughly the same temperature. On Allison's hair, I think these are all about 400 probably. I know that's what the iron is set to at least. But um, if you have more fine hair or more broken hair, do you, want to you show can do that? it at a lower setting. Okay, so. Well, you should use yeah. that Yes. Okay, so in the very front here, I have the, um, oh, you can't even see. Oh, hold on. 
can't see with any of these. There we go. Okay. In the very front, we have the um, flat iron curls. And you can see, like, they're, it almost looks like a little tube, the way it's curled. You can tell these ones are a tiny bit looser because you have more space and it doesn't look like a tube, it looks more like one of those like pulled out spiral phone cord things. I don't speak English. But um, once we go through and I'll pull my fingers through it, you'll be able to tell a bigger difference too um, in the way that it stays, in the way that it holds, and in the density of the curl. But I'm gonna keep these. Okay, this one is the one inch. No, this one's the, Not the, one, inch. the one inch. Yeah. Oh, we never turned this one on, never mind. This one? I think that one's on. I don't want to touch it. Yeah, it's on. Okay, we'll do the front first then. Okay. So you're going to do the... Are I'm you gonna... doing the one inch or are you doing the half inch? I'm going to do the half inch on this side. Look how cute her earrings are. <laughs> okay, this one's a smaller iron, smaller surface area, so I'm gonna take slightly smaller sections with this one, but not much. When the hair gets stuck at the base here, because if you have long hair, it does get stuck at the base. Um, kind of using your fingers. Some of these are spring loaded, this one's not. So I grip it with two fingers to open it and close it. Because then I have control, but I still have my thumb and my other hands here because this is twisting as well to give me, so I'm not like spinning it in my palm. I can just grip it. Then it doesn't fall out of my hand and burn me. I don't recommend those for most everybody. Yeah, I would do anything else. If you don't know how to, especially on yourself, this can be really hard. And if you're not doing it every day, they're hard to get used to. to like loosen up to get it to pull through instead of yanking on your head.
And I know most people don't part to curl, and you really don't have to. But if you miss a piece and you're doing a, a curling size, it's this small, it's really obvious later where you missed it. But you might not be able to see it because it'll be in the back or whatever. So that's the only reason I part. I'm laughing because I don't know if I've ever had that happen. You haven't? I don't think so. So I must just, we must just curl totally different. How do you curl? I don't know, I'll have to do it. I don't usually, the only reason I'm doing it like this too, I usually pull it off and then I don't run into that problem. But I'm doing this because I, I want it to, like it's looser if you pull it off. You know what I mean? I want to be able to see the difference in size better. But yeah, this doesn't happen when you pull it off. <laughs> You um, never have? I don't know anyone else, too, who does. No salon I've ever been at has ever used Corona in this mall. It makes the cutest curls ever. I only use it like twice here, to be honest.
When you curl your hair, do you go all the direction or do you alternate? I alternate. So, are Marcel's hard for you to do? No, I like the Marcel's. This is this is a Marcel that we're talking about. And then what she's using now is a spring. The spring is sometimes easier, but I think the Marcel's have more control. What I use at my house is a Marcel. What size do you use at home? One inch. Or a, it's not a one inch, it's a one and a half inch, I think. So Jan was using the Marcel and using the spring loaded ones, the clamp will be on the opposite side. Have you ever noticed that before? Say what? So the like thumb thing yeah. is on the opposite side for the spring loaded. Because on this one it's on the top. Um, and on that one it's on the bottom. I never noticed before until I did this and now it's tripping me up. Oh you're right. It's probably because you're using your fingers like this with the Marcel mm -hmm. and your thumb. So it's made for more of a right-handed person, I would assume. Wouldn't it? I, don't know, I think you could probably do it either way. But... I, I, yeah, you could. It's just, I, it's just the way that you hold it, whether the curl's going forwards or backwards. I keep trying to curl all your hair forwards, and that's not what I've done with the rest of it. You know um, what I mean? Okay, also, I'm so excited about these highlights, Allison. 
Yeah, except for a trail says they look like they're gray. Well, trail can show that. Other what he's talking about. Plus, we'll see more of them if they don't look gray. And I'm thinking the blonde will blend your roots better. So where did you go hiking? Yesterday? Mm -hmm. um, did you see my story on Instagram? Mm -hmm. It's one of the, my favorite hikes in Utah, but it's uh, called Primrose Overlook. You go up AF Canyon toward Summit Trail, or and park at Summit Trailhead. And then you take um, Horse Flat Trail all the way up and then do a little loop. And there's this little horse trough on the way down that has butterflies around it all the time and everything is so green. And not everyone knows about the loop, so they just go up and go down, but the loop is so pretty. How long is it? Like 3.6 miles. I think I went up and back in like an hour and a half tops. So it's really short, really easy. There's a little bit, there's like a couple spots of like relatively steep uphill, but it's not like a constant uphill. And the whole thing is gorgeous. Just go in the morning so it's nice and cool, but it's still mostly shaded most of the day. And it's not as well traveled as like Stewart Falls or like some of the more well known ones are. Okay, I'm done. You can see the difference in five and do that. Your hair bounces a little <laughs> Okay. So you can see the difference between this was the more narrow one. This was the uh, one inch. This was the one and a half inch. Um, obviously, this one sat for longer, so it's probably fallen out a little bit more. But it makes a big difference in the curl pattern. You can see how much looser these are throughout than this one. And that's just because it's a smaller size. And then, same thing here. This one, all of these curls are closer together this way than these ones are. See how there's like a gap here? You cannot see a gap in a lot of these ones. It's a very narrow gap if it's there. And then the front is very like big and loose and there's not as much of a gap but it's 
also they're like a much broader curl here. It's not as like uniform as as this is. So let's run our fingers through it. Do you want uh, oil or no or hairspray? Um, let's just run our fingers through and show everyone exactly how it is without any product. Okay. So that's our half inch. And then the one inch right there. is a curl. Even just seeing like this one curl versus this one curl makes a big difference. And you can see how loose this wave is as opposed to this one's a little bit tighter they're more close together. And then this one Flat iron curl typically gives more of a beach wave than anything else. Not that you can't do it with other ones, but it's harder to get a tighter curl pattern with the flat iron just because of the way it wraps. So, yeah. And then let's see the front. Yeah. You can see this is a lot tighter up here. Than this side is. So, yeah. All right. See you later, guys. <laughs> How do I stop this? I'll end.